Hello, today we're going to be looking at this Apple 12 watt USB-A power adapter. If you're new to the channel, there's a whole series on these power adapters where I test them for the power in and the power out while also comparing it to other offerings. There's billions of power adapters out there and I'm just trying to help you make an informed decision since not all devices are created equal. Not a whole lot to see on the box. Let's just get it opened up. It's a little smaller. This is the 30 watt adapter by comparison. Got this removable piece so you can change out the plug if you need to. Snap out leads. Writing on the adapter is again about the same. We see the UL listing. We don't know what that is. And it tells you what it can do, but it's very hard to read. Just for comparison size, I brought in a couple other adapters. So you can see this is a 12 watt adapter from Apple, 5 watt adapter from Apple, 20 watt adapter from Anchor, and a 30 watt adapter from Anchor. All right, let's get some weights. The packaging weighed 22 grams. The power adapter weighs 67 grams. The Apple adapter comes with its little papers. You can see here what it can do for power delivery. So right away, we can see the idle consumption is pretty good on this device. Let's go ahead and take a look at its THD. There we go. Over 200% THD, it's again, is not what we want to see. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And so we're getting a, a blue blinking light on our tester here, which tells us this doesn't have any power delivery mode. So if we click this button, it's not going to change at all. That's okay. We expected that with this device. And one of the things we see, set this to 0 0.1 watts and turn it on, is that the THD actually came up under the very light load. So this thing's actually performing worse with a little bit of a load on it versus when it's just sitting here idling. So again, kind of like the last Apple adapter, this is not what we want to see. And it means that we're going to have issues with this adapter basically right down through the range. Take it right to full load. You can see our THD didn't really come down that much, so that's not great. Yeah, the power didn't look too bad. Power factor is what you'd expect out of an adapter this style. VA is going to be some number in between the two. So, you know, it's, eh, you know, it's okay. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do for overload. 12.3 watts, 12.4 watts, 12.5 watts, 12.6 watts. It's doing that. 12.7 watts, and it's out. And it recovers to the five volts. So they have the overload protection set very conservatively on this device. So it, it overloads almost exactly at 12 watts. So 12.6 watts is all you can get continuously out of the device before it trips over on that overcurrent. So it's, it's that good. I mean, that's safe, it's safe. There's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, so when we come to the overall results, we can see that the efficiency of this device is not very good. It kind of has a, a little peak and then it, I mean, it, it peaks around, you know, three watts and then it starts to drop off. So it just doesn't, doesn't seem to hold up under those higher wattage conditions as you would expect. So overall, you put all that together with the poor power factor and everything else, and it just ends up being a pretty low performing device. I would expect a little more from Apple. Again, this is a $19 power adapter. So, or at least if it had some power delivery, maybe a 20 watt adapter in this price range, because the 20 watt adapter is like the same price as this one. So you might as well just get the 20 watt adapter. Uh, this 12 watt adapter is, is not impressive. I would say this is a definite skip. If you need a USB-A adapter, there are other options out there. I would more likely recommend to get a USB-C adapter instead. When we look at the graph for the idle, we can see that it's clustered in with the, the lesser devices. And when we take a look at the overall with this, we can see it's also towards the bottom. So overall, this 12 watt USB-A power adapter from Apple does not get the recommendation from me. I have a pretty long playlist now available for you to check out. And we've compared quite a few of these things and we're starting to see some, some things emerge. And I got a whole bunch of videos down in the description to check out. And uh, a lot of power adapters, of course, because I've been doing these for a little while now. And I would say that you have uh, a ton of options out there. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. And thanks for getting to the end. All right, bye.